Hello, my name is Edson Oliveira and I'll be presenting this video for dnnhere.com and this is about the file manager feature uh, that is available in, in .NET Nook and the file manager is actually uh, uh, what I call a system module. It comes already with each and every new installation of .NET Nook. So let's have a look at, uh, at the file manager from a host perspective. Let's log in as host. By the way, file manager is available from the admin level as you can see under admin file manager and from a host level as well under host and then file manager so what is the difference from those two uh, from going uh, within admin or host basically uh, to show you the difference let's have a look at the folder structure of a .NET Nook website. You can do that via FTP if your site is remote or in my case here the site is local so I'll just open uh, Windows Explorer. Okay so here we have the folder structure of my .NET Nook website. If I go under portals I can see two folders there. One is called uh, default and the other one is called zero. Now if we go under admin file manager what we are seeing here is the content of the uh, uh, folder called zero. So this view is showing the contents of this folder. Let's just visualize this in a different way. Perfect. So as you can see, if I expand here, the folders that will show we should accept the same folders, cache, templates, and users, as you can see. And the files inside the folder are the same, as you'll be able to see here. Uh, in .NET Oak, you have a, a paging functionality. It shows, by default, 10 items per page, and you can browse. Now, if we go under Host, File Manager, what we'll see is, is this time, the default folder under Portals. Okay, so now, but uh, now as you can see, we have a we have a um, a file here under default called uh, subhost.aspx. If you check on your website uh, via file manager, you won't be able to see that file, and the reason is very simple. There are certain types of files, uh, especially uh, .aspx or uh, .ascx that. Uh, File Manager uh, does allow uh, users to to manage those files from here because those are restricted files. But any other types of files you can pretty much manage from here. Again, two different folders, two different reasons. One is on the host level, the other one is from the admin level. Uh, the folder that is called zero zero is the portal means portal zero. So each and every port that you additional port that you create on your site, you're gonna have a new folder here under portals. Now let me mention something a little bit uh, what I find interesting. Sometimes uh, we are working with uh, either uh, file manager from admin or file manager from host. For now, I'll just stick with file manager from from admin just for the rest of our uh, demonstration. Sometimes uh, you may you may know that there's a file there in this folder uh, or, or even a, a folder here in that is physically there already and by there I mean in the site already and for one reason or another the, the, the folder or the file doesn't show up here and this the reason is simple uh, the, the file system and dot that took they need to be synchronized and sometimes for one reason or another they get out of sync so uh, what is showing uh, in, in the physical folders is not exactly the same as what is showing in the within within file manager so what you can do to fix that let, let first let me give an example let's go here to this to the uh, zero folder let's create a new folder here called our test folder now, if I come here and I refresh this page, the folder is not here yet. Even if I uh, call the folder again, see the folder is still not here. So in those cases that uh, that the file system is out of well, the .NET Nook is out of sync with the file system. What you should do, you can just go to File Manager, click Recursive here 
uh, in the top um, right corner of file manager and click synchronize files. What this will do is it will basically read the files that are the files and folders that are located in the in the in the file system and will synchronize that with uh, .NET Nuke's database. Now, if I expand this, you see our test folder is right here uh, as it is in the file system. Now, the same thing applies to the default, but again, default is under host file manager. Now, one last thing that I want to show about the file manager is that file manager can manage any kind of file uh, aside from those restricted files that we may have like uh, like ESPX or other uh, dot that uh, specific type of uh, extensions so it can manage any type of file but uh, if by any chance you try to upload a file and it says that it does not recognize the extension of that, of that file is because that file is not included in the authorized type of files that can be uploaded to the site so let's let's see an example of that so let's try to upload a file that I that the extension is not listed within uh, the list of authorized extensions. So we can just let's say that I want to upload this uh, to the root folder of my admin, which is uh, again folder zero. So let's just click select the folder, click upload, and then we're gonna select. Here is our file. The extension is dot vsd. So let's open this file and let's click upload. So here's what it says. It says that the the uh, the up uploaded extension, the uploaded a uh, file extension, is not supported. So what we need to do? Very simple. You can just go under host, host settings, scroll down, go other settings, and here you can see allowable file extensions. We have just to add that new extension .vsd. So this is it. We just scroll down, click update. Keeps giving this kind of error for the email. No problem. Let's just skip that one. Click update. Now let's go back to admin file manager, and let's try to upload that file once again. Let's click browse. The file is here. Click open, and then upload file. So no errors this time. Let's just uh, confirm that the file is real here. Let's see 40 items per page. And our test file is right here. Added we added to the site without a problem. Okay, so this is basically it about file manager. This is uh, with file manager, you can basically uh, manage files under portals default from a host perspective or portals zero from uh, from from an admin perspective. Okay, thank you very much. Bye.